Hi, my name is Vivek and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the 18th episode to create an e-commerce website using WooCommerce. In the previous episode, I showed you how to add different payment gateways. Today, I'll talk about the user accounts in WooCommerce. You can see there are two different forms in my account. One is the login form and the another one is the register form. If you are an existing user, you can add your username and password to log into your own account. If you are new user, then you can add your email address over here and click on this register button. Now let's create a new user account. So add email address over here. I will say jack at hotmail.com then you can click on this register button once you see this my account page it means your user account has been created and if you're wondering where the password is for this username then you should receive the password in your real email address in this example I'm using fake email address so I won't receive any email for the password but since we are the admin of our website if you want to see a list of different users then you can always go to the admin panel and click on users so currently we only have two users one is the admin user and one is Zach and Zach is the username that we have recently created now let's get back to my account and see what each of these links do so the first one is the orders so currently no order has been made so let's try to order something over here I will choose some random products and click on the basket proceed to checkout I can add all this information Since we have ordered three different products, this product information will be added to the order base. If you want to see detailed information about these orders, you can click on this view button and you can see all this information over here. If some product offer you to download some files like additional image or PDF or Word document then it will be visible in this download space when product is on processing status first of all let's add some downloadable file in any product using admin account I will add it in this running trainer and then you have to click on this downloadable and then click on add file for the time being I will just call it trainer PDF and for the file I'll just choose any one of the image or icon from here 
once done you can click on update now we need to order this product so using your new user account let's order this product Now refresh the download space and you're still not seeing anything over here and it's because if you go to order using the admin account the status is still on hold so we have to change the status from on hold to processing so let's do it over here click on update Now refresh the download space again and you should see the uh, file over here and if you want to download this file then you can just click on this link and it should be downloaded over here. Address space is used to add your billing and shipping address if you want. Similarly, account detail page is used to edit your personal information like your name, email or you can even change your password. Finally, logout is to sign up from your user account. This is the end of this session. Thank you so much for choosing my YouTube channel to learn WooCommerce. I'll see you again next time with the next course. Also, if you want some hosting companies, then you can check the link in the description below. Thank you and all the best.